Hello and today I will give you 10 translations to guide you from your way from Unity to Unreal. And please note, these aren't in any particular order, just 10 things I think will help newcomers to Unreal. Let's get started. Number 10, Layout. Each engine has its layouts that function the same but just have different names, this is why it's so easy. In Unity, you have the Inspector panel, and in Unreal, you have the Details panel. Unity has the hier 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 <coughs> Hierarchy panel, and Unreal has the World Outliner. Project panel in Unity, and the Content Browser in Unreal. Unity has the Scene view to browse the scene, and the Game view to play the game, while Unreal has the Viewport you can play and edit in. But don't see this as a disadvantage, you can open up different viewports if you like working that way. The final main layout is the Unity console, and in Unreal it's just a message log. Number 9. Files In Unreal, files are stored comparably to Unity. In Unity, every asset file has a .meta file that tells Unity all sorts of in-engine info. However, in Unreal, every asset is surrounded by a U asset file instead. They work the same as Unity, but instead of being a separate file, all your files are wrapped within. It's why if you ever download an Unreal file or an asset, it might be .uasset when they've claimed it's a model or a sound. Number 8. Coding To code in Unity, you can use your C-sharp. Unity script was available and boo, but well, I don't think anybody uses that. You have another option of a drag and drop code editor known as Bolt, but it's not very matured from what I've gathered. In Unreal, you can use C++ and a drag and drop editor, which is called Blueprints. The major difference is Blueprints in Unreal is way more matured and is used pretty much out of the box, whereas Unity requires you to add it as a package. Remember, with great coding comes great IDs. The IDEs for Unity that's most commonly used is Visual Studio, but a lot of people prefer Rider, such as myself. In Unreal, you can still use Visual Studio or Rider, but also some other options like Sea Lion. Number 7. Plugins slash packages. No engine is going to come with every single package you ever want. There's always a package manager of some sort. In Unity, you have the aptly named Package Manager. This handles any Unity and fan-made packages. However, in Unreal, you have two versions. The first is the plugins menu. The plugins menu handles everything built into the engine that you want to toggle. Typically, platform-dependent plugins. The other version is the Epic Games Store. This contains any packages that aren't built into the engine or that are fan-made. Note, Epic Games Store is not available on Linux as of yet, but there are third-party options. Number 6. Supporter Platforms Both engines are supported on Linux, Mac and Windows. You have to compile the source on Linux for Unreal, but I've done it, it's easy, it works on the first time. Both engines support a large variety of platforms to export to. Unity supports... <gasps> iOS, Android, Windows, Xbox, Linux, WebGL, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Oculus, Android TV, TVOS, Switch, AR Code, Stadia, HoloLens and Magic Leap. Whew. However, Unreal supports <sighs> iOS, Android, Windows, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Linux, HTML5, PS4, PS5, Switch, Stadium, Mac, AR, VR, SteamOS. So they both support roughly the same platform, so you haven't got any platform dependencies. Number 5. Audio Unity's audio library is easy to start. You simply add an audio source and equip your sound file. From there, if you want to enable any 3D sound, simply tweak the settings on the audio source. If you want deeper control of the audio to add things like reverb and to manage multiple tracks at once, you can use an audio mixer. In Unreal, it's very similar. For audio, simply add ambient sound. When you want to make it 3D, add a sound attenuation. If you want to have deeper control of your audio, add an audio cue. Number 4. Mesh In Unity, you have mesh components that render your specific models on screen. Typically, you have a mesh component. If you have a rigged model, like a character, then you'll have noticed that instead you'll have a skin mesh. In Unreal, there is no difference here. For a static slash non-rigged mesh, you have a static mesh. And if your character is rigged, then you have a skeletal mesh. Number 3. File Structure In Unity, the folder that you use for everything is the Asset folder. 
it handles all of your models, sounds, textures, etc. In Unreal, you have the content folder, which works the exact same way. However you organise your project in either engine is entirely up to you. Number 2. <laughs> physics In Unity, physics are typically handled via the rigid body component that gives you access to gravity and, en and enabling collisions. In Unreal, however, this behaviour is built in by default to all actors. You just need to enable it from the details pane. Number 1. Materials Materials in Unity are handled in two parts, the shader and the material. The material is a collection of parameters such as textures, values. The shader is the code that applies these parameters in a specific way. Unreal is the same principle but just combined. Whereas Unity has the material and the shader, Unreal has both of these combined within the material in which you just create instances of as and when you need them. So that's 10 tips that should give you a good head start from moving from Unity to Unreal like I did. Thanks for watching.